Now, when you think about small engines, what do you think about? Small dirt bike, lawn mower, even smaller? I bet you never thought about an 8.6 liter, two cylinder, four stroke gasoline engine. Now that's small. And yes, this thing is fully operational and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna fire this little mini engine up. Now this is the NR200 and you can find it at Engine DIY for around $400. It's a single overhead cam engine, two cylinder, four stroke engine. It is water cooled and it runs on gasoline. So it does have these little tiny spark plugs and the electric motor on the side is just a starter. The engine does run and power by itself. Now there's a lot of great videos out on this engine already. Johnny Q90 has a really great YouTube channel. If you guys haven't seen him, he does a, a breakdown of the engine and shows you all the internal parts of it. We're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna run this engine and we're gonna see how it sounds. I'll be the first to admit it. My knowledge of little engines is well, little, but we're no stranger to horsepower. This is a turbo truck here. We have my 1200 horsepower turbo Mustang where the hood flew up and smashed my windshield. And we also have a turbo lawnmower. So we're no stranger to making weird things work. So how difficult can this little engine be to make run? We're gonna start by mounting our engine to the cutting board. And our engine's mounted good and solid on there. I'm gonna put our spark plugs in here real quick so we don't lose them. So we've got the radiator over here. This is actually our radiator pressure relief. This is our fuel tank, and then we have to find something for our little oil tank down here. Just learning how everything goes. Like I said, not an expert on these small engines, but dang, are they ever cool, and who wouldn't want to own one of these? I brought my specialist Dan in here, and uh, he isn't any smarter than me when it comes to this, so we're, we're looking at a bunch of photos and stuff. Basically, I built this little thing so we could put oil in the engine, because I'm not going to run mine without oil. Some of them seem like they run without oil. I'm not going to do that. We have our uh, fuel system hooked up. We've got the water. Uh, water and radiator hooked up here and now it's just time to uh, glue everything down so it stays down and start filling up our fluids and we got our spark plug wires on look at that fancy this thing is cool as heck man definitely cool all right here's our first test or whatever and you'll know if it's successful or not if you were actually watching this because if you're not watching it then it probably wasn't successful and i didn't put it in there you go wrong way <laughs> yeah always it's always the other way like yeah. a usb When you look at the oil, yeah. whenever we're cranking it, it goes away from the nipple. Oh, does it? And now it's just slowly getting back up to the nipple. You'll notice that we added a little oil reservoir that kind of just trickles into the pan there. I'm not sure if I was even supposed to add that. The videos that I've seen, it's hit or miss if people have hoses even connected to the bottom of the crankcase. I just can't imagine running something that doesn't have any lubrication in the bottom end, especially coming from bigger engines like car engines where they need oil to survive. So that's just my logic behind it. It seems like it might be a crankcase breather because it, it was pushing oil out the other way. But like I said, it's hit or miss on the internet with photos or videos if people have something connected to the bottom of that. Yeah, so what else do we need to do now? And right now, every $1 spent at BoostedLifestyle.com gets you one entry for this Everlast 185 welder. This thing's gonna get you started. It's gonna do your TIG welding. It's gonna do all your aluminum, all your stainless, all your mild, up to 185 amps. So basically everything in the automotive world. And we just added air fresheners to the website. So make sure to go check out boostedlifestyle.com, get your merch, you can get a key tag, you can get an air freshener, whatever you need, you'll get entered. I think it ran out of fuel though. We've had some mediocre success. Dan and I, very, very comfortable with fuel injection. Not so much carburetors. We need Dan at DD Speed Shop right now. Okay, just for a moment, the fact that this little thing is making this noise is super cool. <laughs> it makes me wanna keep trying because it's like, this thing is. It sounds cool. <laughs> it's savage sounding. <laughs> it's getting hot in the fingers though.
greedy. You got greedy. Yeah, I couldn't help it. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that this thing's making that noise, like that is weed whacker noise coming out of this little tiny thing. <laughs> That is awesome. I uh, love this thing. <laughs> that's pretty freaking cool. I would like to get to the point of like it's starting on idle. Yeah. Like firing too. up and. off weed whacker that is <laughs> If you just get a couple buddies over here and you just start playing with this engine, that's a good way to spend an evening. <laughs> just play with this little engine all day. <laughs> it's better if you put it into a truck, get it running, and start jumping stuff, but we don't yes. have a truck currently. Yes, we should put it in something eventually. Yes. We're having a bit of issue right now where our system is not working with the coolant. The coolant isn't circulating the way it should. We're going to take the cooling system out of this. We're just going to put a a bucket on the side with some water in it and uh, see if that helps us tune it because once you start getting it hot then it needs a different amount of fuel than if it's cold so so um this is our little cooling system now uh it just goes top and bottom hose try and cool down this engine so we'll try this again see if we can get it to, to run a little better now now it's not overheating on us Twenty thousand RPM right there. That thing is a pissed off weed whacker. She's singing. Hot already? It's warm, like wow. like bathtub warm. Almost. Wow. Okay, yeah, we were we were definitely getting this thing a little bit hot before. <laughs> judging by the temperature of that water right now. That was quick. Yeah. It's so small. It's so much heat. <laughs> I don't understand it either. It's wild, man. It's little baby cam cap like, back here. Look, yeah, well, it's single overhead cam. Um, one of these is just a dummy cam. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, one cam with a bunch of rockers on it. But like I said, for like a, you and your buddies can chip in a hundred bucks each. You guys can have fun with this for a day. A couple of days. Yeah. Lots of days. <laughs> it's It's definitely one of those pieces that's like, hey, you want to see the coolest thing you've never seen before? Here it is right here. It's like, it's like you should put this in the house next to your bar and just be like, hey, I'll fire this thing up for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the smallest engine you've ever seen run? Watch this. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. New personal best. Oh man, this thing is so cool. Now overall, this engine was super fun to like tinker with. I'm a tinkerer and that's what I like to do. I like to just, I like to see things work like this. You can find a whole bunch of engines like this on enginediy.com. Honestly, they're more affordable than you think if you just want to go check it out. And if you really start thinking about it, there's a whole rotating assembly in here. There's a camshaft, there's rockers or everything. This is like aluminum. It's a stout piece and it feels really nice. And it's honestly so much fun to play with. 
Like I said, if you're interested in more videos like this, Johnny Q90 has a bunch of great, great videos breaking these things down and running them properly. And honestly, on my channel, we just like having fun and I'm more of a average Joe kind of guy, so it's more relatable, but you can see how much fun we had trying to play with this thing. Now I do have a clutch, so we can attach this to something. So let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. Make sure to like the video. Peace easy. Get that V.